Hey everybody, it's Ted here, and it's April 25th, 2020, working on my hex jig for the geodesic dome. Uh, so as I've said in other videos, I've already got my pent sections done, and I've got one full hex section done. And uh, I wanted to kind of just give a quick high-level overview of what's going on on the jig process here. Uh, some of you may have seen movies on the beveled, uh, beveled frame builds. And uh, Paul Robinson's been very good in sharing his knowledge about those. I've kind of followed his work along and uh, started doing it myself here on my builds. So basically what happens is you've got, uh, you've got three, struts, uh, three strut lengths when you're building a geodesic dome. You've got your A's, B's, and C lengths. And I've just cut uh, B lengths here and C lengths here. They also have a slightly different angle. There's a... Uh, your dihedral angle is 166 and 169 degrees. So you take half of that and then uh, that gives you the angle you want to cut. And uh, to get that on your table saw, you have to basically put in whatever the leftover is from 90 degrees to get that. So it kind of works out to about five, seven degrees, something like that. Anyway, uh, so yeah, you've used on the pent sections, you've got the A struts, which act as the spokes going into the hub, and the B length is what's on the outside edges of it all around. So that's why it's important that they're all the same length on an edge there, and when you start lining them all up, they should true up to a perfect pent. Same thing with the hexes. Uh, with the hexes, it's also a B length on the outer edge, and the struts, uh, the spokes to the center are the C sections here. So they want to be at their own angle, and then the uh, the B is a somewhat different angle. Um, so I've made today, I only started at 11, so I haven't been working too hard at Saturday. I've done three half hex sections. I'm pretty pleased with my joints overall. I kind of was asleep here this morning doing this one, so more coffee, I guess. But other than that, the joints are nice and tight. The hubs are looking right on point, as you can see. And yeah, so quite pleased with that. They seem to stand up even on unlevel ground quite solidly, so that's hopefully a good sign. And uh, how I do this on the jig, which was the point of the film here. Um, so yeah, you should have at least three um, these vice grips, and you should have three clamps. Canadian Tire only had the two when I went to buy them, so I've been making do. So what I'll do is I start them, and I, uh, I clamp here, and then I'll put a screw in here, and then I'll take this one and just put it over there. But to get to the point, uh, these are C struts going up to the hub. This is my B strut length. So when I get them square like that, I'll lay them out here, and I just take the angle here, and I'll lay it nice and tight against the jig, take my pencil and draw that. Same thing here, and up here, I go to the table saw, I cut them off uh, with what I need them to be, so they'll end up looking like that, and then I just clamp them nice and snug here on the jig. Uh, then drill into each end there, one down here, and one through here, and then I take the handsaw, and I will uh, cut off this excess here. Doing so, I find it's handy to take the handsaw and just make a nice light kind of a line here, about a millimeter or two deep. And then as I'm cutting, which is there's a slight beveled angle there, as I'm cutting, that's my guide, so I get a nice straight cut. Uh, that's a tip we got from Paul Robinson's video. As you're doing it, you should, if you offer the back of your saw blade up, see the nice line going there. So I uh, I will angle that. It's hard to do with one hand here. But anyway, kind of like this. And then as I would going down, and of course I should have the screw in to do that. But yeah, as I'm making that angled cut, and I'll show you what I mean in a second, uh, that's my guide for the saw to go out. At the end of it, I should have a nice flush cut. And with the terms of the bevel, We'll explain it here. The jig is built vertically. That's just straight up 90 degree angle to the plywood here. This is original board as it came from the supplier. This is the original 
board. This is the original board. I started with two by fours and I ripped them down to the proper sections. This is my bevel angle here, which I think it comes to about seven degrees or something like that. So, um, yeah, I ripped a two by four into two of these. So I can get, uh, for the lengths that I'm working with, these should be a meter long. I ordered two by four, eight foot lengths. I'm getting a lot of waste and the waste is on the order of this. So had I ordered 10 foot length boards, I would have had less waste and gotten more boards per cut. But I don't know how I'd be ripping and cutting 10 foot length boards. What I've been doing is cutting them to length first and then ripping them down uh, about a meter long length, which is a lot safer and a lot better on the saw. Um, but uh, as it is, this is what I end up with. So yeah, I put the screws into here and then I'll just uh, cut off the excess. And when you're done with it, the big test is you should be able to flip this frame over 180 degrees and it should go back down on the jig nice and snug. And what'll happen is this bevel will be facing down over here. This bevel over on this side from this strut will be facing down over here, but it should more or less fit nice and snugly back onto the jig. If it doesn't, you've got problems. It took me two or three tries to get this jig here set up right. It took me about two tries to get my pent jig nice. Uh, so the good news is I'm gonna save them. And if somebody else ever wants me to build them a shed that's 16 foot diameter, I can uh, reuse that and just go to work right away cutting struts up. So there's that. And uh, yeah, I guess probably to say it took me about half a day to get that jig right and at least half a day for this one and a certain amount of profanity. Uh, yeah, you wouldn't be too far off in that. So I'll go to it and I'll get uh, another progress bit at the end of the day.